Oscar Pistorius as you've never seen him before. And in these pictures uncovered by Sky News, the athlete shows his prowess at handling a gun. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Is that when you're ready? Get ready. Take okay, up. <laughs> Screams of delight, but listen to the voice of a man who sounds very much like Oscar Pistorius. It's a lot softer than brain, but it's like a zombie stopper. <laughs> The man in red is familiar to South Africans. He's the Springbok rugby star, Francois Hohart, romantically linked to Riva Steenkamp around the same time as she was seeing Pistorius. The two men seem very close here, enjoying a hobby popular with well-to-do South Africans. But to Pistorius, guns were not just a game. They were his security too. This is him firing his 9mm pistol the same gun he kept under his bed and which he used to kill Rivas Dinkamp. He's now about to start the biggest battle of his life. The state will try to prove he deliberately killed his girlfriend. Pistorius insists he mistook her for a burglar. The amputation of both legs as a baby was to leave Pistorius feeling vulnerable as an adult. He adapted well, but without his prosthetics, he was less mobile. His childhood was a happy one, but it was burglaries years later which left him with a fear of intruders. His multi-million rand house in Pretoria is on a walled estate with 24-hour security, but he still didn't feel safe. This was the man courted by prime ministers. He felt his hero status made him a target for thieves. It's all such a long way from where he started, as a sociable young boy with an incredible talent for running. In this rare footage, he's just 17 and at boarding school. His mother had died two years earlier. He'd taken up running using blades just a few months before the Athens Olympics, but still came home with medals to everyone's surprise. And here he appears self-conscious about any attention. <laughs> And when asked who he wanted to thank, the young Pistorius said this. All my dorm buddies. Um, you know, if it wasn't for them, I definitely wouldn't have got where I was. This was the Oscar Pistorius before fame and fortune, a young man with a strong religious faith who felt lucky. You know, obviously you do wonder what would it be like if I had legs, but it's not a thing that really bothers me. I'm very happy with my prosthetic legs. Um, you know, I don't think, I think everything happens for a reason. God had a plan when he gave me these legs and I think, you know, at the end of the day I'm happy. I'm, I don't think I would have been doing athletics if I was able-bodied. I don't see myself as disabled, so either way you're winning from both sides. Fast forward nine years and Oscar Pistorius is a honed, polished winner with a tough new attitude. If you want to be the top dog in your area, it's like becoming part of a pack mentality where you think about yourself as the top dog, the alpha male or the alpha female and I'm running the show and that type of arrogance, almost a narcissistic, idealistic type of approach that I roll over for nobody. Hundreds of miles away a young girl was growing up in the South African coastal city of Port Elizabeth. Reva Steenkamp too found some success when just a teenager entering a competition in her local newspaper and being spotted by the paper's then beauty editor. She was 15, of and a young 15. There was nothing sophisticated about her. She was sweet, down-to-earth, earthy, just one of those girls who had the it factor, a little bit early Kate Moss. She dreamed of marriage and a family, but did a law degree too in case the modelling didn't work out. She needn't have worried. Soon the gauche girl from Port Elizabeth had changed, too, into a sophisticated, glossy magazine model. Pistorius said the two of them were deeply in love. They'd only been dating a few months. But in the early hours of Valentine's Day last year, he took the decision to pick up his gun and shoot. The judge now has to decide whether he meant to kill, or it was just a tragic accident. Alex Crawford, Sky News, Johannesburg.